Hi, I'm Val Kennedy, the biotechnology reporter for MarketWatch, and I'm here in Framingham, Massachusetts at Genzyme Corp's new R&D center, which they say is green. In terms of electricity, we save about 26% over a building of similar size, and in water, it's about 40%. It's green enough, in fact, to hold the government's coveted LEED gold rating, making it one of only 10 such laboratories in the nation. Rich Gregory heads up research for Genzyme. What specifically makes this facility green? So almost anything you can think of from the initial construction all the way to the way we operate it today has an element of green in it. When we built the building, we remediated a brownfield site. Mm -hmm. We also, uh, when we designed the building, put lots of parking spaces out there that are preferentially used by hybrid vehicles and carpools. We use less electricity as we talked about, we use less water. In the construction of the building, we use materials from uh, certified forests or recycled materials. For example, all the door frames in this building are from recycled materials. The building is very smart. It has a computer control system that senses the level of natural light coming in from the outside and it modulates the interior lights to compensate. So on a very bright day, we hardly use any internal lighting in here at all. The fume hoods that we used to use in our laboratories used about as much energy each as a house or maybe two houses. And the fume hoods we have now use 60% less energy than those. Biomedical research is heavily regulated, requires things like climate control. How are you able to do all of that and still run a green building? So on top of this building, which is six stories tall internally, it looks about almost eight or maybe eight and a half stories tall from the outside. There are two very large air handling units up there that are responsible for uh, very efficiently extracting the energy that's used to either heat or cool the air and reusing it with the incoming air. Why go green? What's in it for Genzyme? Well, there's probably a few things, one of which is that it is probably cost effective for us to build a laboratory like this over the longer term. We use a lot less energy to run the laboratories and we use a lot less water in the building and over time that should pay us back. It's also good for the employees. They love to work here. I think scientists in general have a very much environmental ethos. They love the aspect of us uh, trying to make sure that the building they work in minimizes its impact on the environment. And the third thing, I think, is that it's just part of our corporate culture. Rich, thanks so much for speaking with us. We really appreciate it. No problem. In Framingham, Massachusetts, I'm Val Kennedy for MarketWatch.